We admire the great professionals for their ball striking ability. Guys like Hogan, Nelson, Trevino, and Palmer. But even the pros, the best players in the game, have trouble with their swings. With so many different swings on tour, some upright, some flat, some short, and some long, every golfer scours the television and magazines looking for that secret lesson. A tip that will help them achieve consistency and accuracy. Most are just looking for a miracle. Well, what if I told you that a little-known Canadian golfer, a meek man with autism, a recluse who lived in a hotel room, held the answer to golf swing simplicity, making the game easier, more consistent and accurate. A miracle of sorts for anyone willing to stand outside the ropes, that is. His name was Murray Irwin Norman, Mo to those who knew him well. Shy and reclusive, 14-year-old Mo Norman didn't have many friends. His solitary personality drew him to golf. He spent hours in a grassy field at Rockway Golf Club in Kitchener, Ontario, hitting over a thousand balls a day. He kept this routine up for years, and despite his autism, or maybe because of it, by the time he reached the age of 19, he had mastered the movement of the human body's ability to strike a golf ball with anatomical precision. The result, a near perfect swing, something he called his feeling of greatness. After developing this perfect golf swing, Mo took his game to the course and dominated Canadian golf in the 1950s and 60s. He won two Canadian amateur championships, seven Canadian senior PGA titles, and 13 Canadian tour titles. He played for Canada in the 1971 World Cup, played in the Masters twice, and played briefly on the PGA Tour. He set 33 course records, shot 59 three times, and made 17 aces, winning one of every three tournaments he played. Mo Norman's record is equivalent to today's great players. Even his competitors admitted, when Mo showed up, we all played for second. So what exactly did Mo discover in those grassy fields in Canada that led him to his unprecedented success? Biomechanical perfection. He had intuitively solved the flaw in the modern swing. Mo figured out that when you hang your arms straight down, like most modern players, where the club is below your shoulders, you have a problem, a big problem. The problem is that you can't get your body back to impact without lifting and twisting. This is what most players do when they hit a ball. They are forced to twist and lift their body to get to the moment of impact, not Mo. He figured out that if you lift your hands and point them directly at the ball at the start, that the swing was more natural. What Mo had demonstrated was the perfect way to strike a ball using the human body as a machine. He discovered what we call the single plane golf swing, where you start the club on the same plane as the moment of impact. This club on plane at address simplifies the golf swing, making the most important moment the moment of impact, easier to repeat, and easier on the body. The fact is that Mo Norman made ball striking a natural movement, one that produces speed and accuracy with less movement and variation. Mo's golf swing has also been proven to be easier and less stressful on the back, an ailment for many golfers. Let's take a look at Mo Norman's single plane. The differences at address you see a single plane where the club aligns with the club shaft and arms. If you were to fast forward Mo to impact, you can immediately see that the club returns to this exact same plane. Because of this single plane, during Mo's swing, instead of the body moving upward and away from the ball, the back stays in its original position, 
the feet stay on the ground, creating a consistent platform to produce an ideal, repeatable impact position, which means incredibly consistent and straight golf shots. Moe's golf swing produces plenty of speed as well, where you can see the perfect angle created at the top of the backswing. This angle produces ideal club head speed into impact. Measured when he was 64 years old, Moe's golf swing generated over 107 miles per hour with a driver. That's at age 64. Like most of the greats, Mo Norman's legacy of a near-perfect golf swing was more widely adopted after his death in 2004. But one man recognized the brilliance of Mo's approach way ahead of the rest. Todd Graves, an American professional golfer, became a lifelong friend and student of Mo Norman. Known as Little Mo, Todd has successfully incorporated the science and biomechanics of Mo's successful golf swing into an approach called the Single Plane Solution. Today, the Graves Golf Academy teaches the Single Plane Solution around the world. Mo is my friend and my mentor. I'm continuing his legacy by showing the simple, common sense approach to striking a ball to everyone I can. It's more natural, easier in your body, and I found it much more effective. As Mo would say, keep it simple, stupid. Now it's your turn to learn the easiest golf swing in the world from the Graves Golf Academy and see how the legend of Mo Norman and his biomechanical perfection can help you become a better golfer and master your own feeling of greatness.